rock road and it's done for you For the record, lab on me going all the way For the record, ain't trying to link no time to wait I need to take you back a good few weeks to when it was Crep City in London at the Wembley Box Park because that is where I was given by a good friend of mine a pair of the Adidas Soulbox 4D mids that dropped a little while ago for a ridiculous sum and I was allowed to do a little bit of a review. While I was at Crep City I thought I would do as many reviews as I possibly could of shoes I could get my hands on and thanks to the guy with the three stripes I've managed to get my hands on a pair of the 4D Runner Mid Soul Box Edition. So let's have a really quick look at them. So this is it. This is the 4D Runner Mid collaboration with Soul Box and it was something that I would have obviously picked up knowing full well that I'm a massive 4D fan. Apart from it's one epic fail. When that shoe was first doing the rounds online and images were everywhere, everyone was really excited until they dropped the price point at 500 euros. And yes, I did say 500 euros. That's how much Adidas and Soulbox priced this shoe at. So in terms of pounds, you're looking over 400 pounds for a pair of 4D mids. And it is a consortium, obviously, but still over 400 pounds for a pair of 4Ds. Don't think I could even contemplate purchasing them myself. That said, if I do see them ever drop into the sales, I may consider it. It's got to drop down quite a lot. So 4Ds I've picked up in the past have been sort of just over half that. Why would I pay 400 pounds for a pair? What makes them so much better? Well, let's have a look at them. So here they are. These are the 4D runners. And uh, if you don't recall, Kith dropped the first ever pair of mid 4Ds a little while back. And it was in that kind of Aspen pack colorway, which I really did like, yet it was particularly hard to get your hands on. It was Kith exclusive and it was really not something openly available. And um, they were priced a lot cheaper than these, a lot more accessible than these in terms of a price point. Let's start with the upper of this shoe. So the upper of this shoe comprises of a prime knit material in a cream, gray and white colorway. And that colorway runs itself from front to back with some aero green or ash green stitching running around the side of the heel counter all the way from the medial side all the way around to the lateral side. Toe box has got that particular pattern of consortium that you see on the normal consortium runners and you've also got the adidas branding on the tongue with the hole punch with the handshake and hole punch on the other shoe down the back of the shoe you've got this heel tab to help you open up and pull on the mid it is a little bit tighter to get onto feet than your traditional normal low the undersole is an aero green continental rubber undersole. Now, one other thing for the price point that you would probably expect is that you'd think it would be 4D 2.0, as we've seen on the Alpha Edge line, and we've seen also on the ZX4000 4D line, but it's not. And um, I can only assume that the last that they use to make the upper is only compatible with the 1.0 edition of the 4D. Hence the sizing was a little bit more limited again and 4D was that way for quite a long time and now it's readily available in broader sizes with that 2.0 version of 4D. But because this is back to the original 1.04D, as you can see, the lattice structure on the midsole is a lot thicker and denser and obviously the uppers last from probably the kith mids is why this is the way it is you do have that ability to see straight through underneath the insole to see that 4d structure but they do come with a pair of insoles in an aero green 
the heel counter is quite strong, is quite sturdy, and does have some padding sitting above it and around the sock liner, just to make it a little bit more comfortable. Because it's a mid, it will ride obviously that little bit higher on the ankle, so they wanna make sure that it's not gonna be difficult to wear all day long. Overall, I really do love this particular edition of the 4D mid, and I will aim to try and pick up a pair very soon if they come into sale. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Tie Kicks, and I'll catch you for another one. <laughs> yes. What's your channel? Uh, tie space K I X. T T Y K I X. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. These ones are 40 Adidas. These. How many subs have I got? That's the one. Cool. Thanks. Cheers. Go for it. Tell everyone. Go for it. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thanks. Thank you.